Welcome to Fibertech Instruments. Today we are going to demonstrate you the folding endurance tester, the shopper type fold. This is the folding endurance tester. You can see it is a dual jaws we have, means for the dual uh, double specimen testing. So this is a single and this one is the, the another one and you can see it is a power supply power on switch this is a start test switch uh, push switch and this is the hardware reset of the controller the electronics of this we can switch on this machine you can see the display shows fiber tech instruments rookie india and the contact details and then it initialize the equipment actually and the instrument the the slit of this 0.5 mm, uh, mm is basically been uh, positioned at the home over here so that the every time uh, the specimen is tested it comes to the home position to insert the specimen at this moment we have two specimens this is the paper this is the aluminum foil, a standard one. So both of these specimens are uh, of 15 mm wide and 130 mm length, you can see it. So we are going to just first of all place the uh, specimen of aluminum foils. So you can see it, uh, this is basically a release of the jaw and by this we can just place it to the back position similar is the case with this it comes out and we can just drag it to back side all four basically works like this only you can see both of the slits are here and they are positioned at home position and we have the jaws we can just place this specimen here so before placing the specimen we have to be clear that we have to just release all the jaws and then we have to place the specimen through the slit like this And again we can just clamp this specimen just we have to take care that we the specimen should be uh, placed uh, in the between like we have seen uh, the gaps to be equal at both the ends these gaps I'm talking about the other specimen of this aluminum foil we can again place it here We can just clamp these specimen. Now we have to drag this equally like we have to drag these position in such a way that uh, both the spec that uh, the jaws has been dragged uh, uh, at the same time by both of the hands like this now we can press the start switch you can see the working so at 12 both of the specimens are broken that means 12 folds double folds are is basically the reading or the result of the these two specimens so you can see 
these are basically the standard foils which basically are broken in the double fold of 12 now uh, this is s1 and this is s2 this entire is s1 and entire is s2 so you can see the reading here s1 is 12 and s2 is also 12 similarly like if we press you can see now the slit is out of the home position so if we press the switch start switch again so on pressing you can see the slit comes uh, at the home and will stop so you see the home is being maintained uh, every time you have to check uh, you, you, you every time you basically use uh, the specimen for the testing and after the testing is over then you can press the start and test again to just bring the slit at the home position now uh, again you can just test the specimens uh, you can release you can see the place the sample and press the start so for placing the sample means you have to release these all four jaws after you release you have to insert the specimen like at this time we are just testing this paper specimen So now by dragging both of the specimens, uh, means uh, both of the jaws backward and then again pressing the start button here we can just test the other specimens. You can see the slit is going back forth direction so that the double fold is being made and these are the two rollers you can see so they are going to hold yeah one is broken at 39 that means s2 is sample is broken at 39 and the other one is going continuously the reading is going up and it broke at 55 again so maybe you can just uh, because due to the formation of the paper it takes uh, the difference also as you see the formation of the uh, aluminum foil is uniform so they, they broke at the same reading so then again we, we can just press this start test button to bring this slit onto the position. Now the entire equipment is basically designed as per the scan, the TAPI and the ISO, the desired ISO. You can see the equipment as well. We have the lead over there and the power cord is also being shown here. This is basically the hardware reset.
means whenever uh, you have a problem to just uh, bring this slit into the, uni uh, to the home position somehow it happens so you can just press the hardware reset and it will go to the initialization of the controller and will bring the slit to the home position it is already at home so this is how you can just test all the specimens and thank you for watching this video if you like uh, the video you can share it with others thank you take care